back to any uh, anyone who's been here before and hello to any new viewers um, I'm Annette uh, you may have noticed if you have been here before that I've changed my um, YouTube name uh, it's now just net sews simple easy to find hopefully I went to um, a sewing social yesterday had a lovely day and then a few of the ladies were um, trying to find me on YouTube so they could follow me and they struggled to find me with my long-winded name that I got before so I've changed my YouTube channel name so hopefully now I'll be easy to find um, so now it's net sews you can also find me on Instagram netmotherbear and I've got a blog which it, again is netmotherbear not very current at the moment because um, as some of you may know, I've been doing my nursing degree and that's taken over my life for the last three years and I have one week left, three shifts on placement and one week left and that's it, I'm done. So yeah, it's exciting. Um, so I plan to blog, read, sew more, although I've now got to work full time four days a week. And I'm finding I'm having less time to sew because I'm on placement at the moment four days a week. Yeah, I'm struggling with it a bit. Maybe I should just work part time. <laughs> anyway, so that's me. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just jump on today. This is a Sunday, Sunday the 9th of July. I thought I'd jump on and just share with you uh, what I've been up to since I saw you last. Um, as I say, I'm doing four days a week at the moment on placement, so I'm not getting that much time to sew, I'm finding. On my day off, I'm, I've just been too busy, but um, I, I have made a few bits and pieces, so I'll show you. I'm not wearing anything handmade today. Um, sorry, it's red hot and boiling, so uh, yeah, I've just, um, just thought I'd go easy today. I've got my notes, and uh, yeah, well, I'll just jump on. So I mentioned last time that I wanted to make the Avenue jumpsuit. I think I did mention it last time anyway. Pe other people who blog, they're really good at this. They remember, you know, what they'd said in episode, whatever. And yeah, I can't remember what I did. Did I just say last week? It wasn't last week I vlogged, was it? Well, whenever. My last vlog, anyway. I was showing you some of my plans. I wanted to make the. Um, oh, I didn't write that one down. What's it? The kilo wrap dress. I showed you some material for that. I remember doing that and I want to make that. Uh, that's still on my list. Basically, my machine's broke, my sewing machine. I've had it years, I've got a Janome. Uh, it's got to be about, I would say 20 years old. Someone asked me yesterday how old it was and I said 12 years, but it's actually longer than that. So um, yeah, and it'll only do straight stitch now. My zigzag's gone on it, so I can't do buttonholes, can't do anything fancy on it. It's just straight stitch, so. I've not been able to sew jersey and I've never sewn with jersey before so I'm a bit nervous about doing it. I know you can order the, um, the stretch, the Mariflex, is that what it's called, Mariflex cotton? Um, but yeah, I haven't got around to it yet so I've not done any jersey sewing and I'm quite looking forward to it. So I've not done that. I can't remember what else I've got planned but I'm sure I told you about the Avenir jumpsuit by Friday Patterns Company. So I've done it made it I've got it here to show you this fabric was from rainbow fabrics this is it I love it I remember telling you that I'd gone to next um, and because I've never wore a jumpsuit or tried a jumpsuit before so I went to next uh, to try on a jumpsuit and I actually ended up buying that jumpsuit um, which I have worn and I love it and now this is finished I can wear this I think I finished this last weekend may have done so the pattern is from sorry the patterns Friday pattern company and the fabric is rainbow fabrics is that right yeah rainbow fabrics I didn't actually like this when it came it's a little bit out there for me but actually I think this this jumpsuit pulls it off and like I say I've not worn it yet, but I will. It's, I think I've been either I've either been on placement, stuck in my uniform, and then I stick my pajamas on when I come home, and then I've not had a day off really, apart from this weekend. So and it's too hot, so I've not worn it. Um, so yeah, that is my Avenir jumpsuit, and I put a lovely little cute 
label in it from Rosy Cheeks labels. I haven't really got much to say about this. I just, yeah, size 14, straight 14. I actually cut out the long sleeves and then realised after I'd done it that I didn't want long sleeves. I wanted the short sleeve version, but I wasn't paying attention when I cut it out. I did the, um, they give recommendations for your elastic length and I just went with their length. Didn't have to alter it. It was perfect. Elastic in the waist. Um, yeah, I mean, just they just hang lovely. I thought actually this would make a really cute um, short set if you'd made the trousers shorter and made them into shorts. I thought that would be really cute. So that's kind of like on my list. But I kind of feel like we haven't got much summer left, have we? And I've got all these different ideas and plans. And um, yeah, maybe for next year. It's got pockets. Ooh, I love I love a pocket. I, I never used to understand when people raved about pro pockets and like people want them in the wedding dress and all sorts, don't they? And I'm like, what's the big deal about pockets? But actually, I get it now. I love pockets. Um, so yeah, I was going to show you actually why I pulled it the wrong way out because I haven't got an overlocker. I have to um, find. Was all look don't look at my threads are still hanging off i've been very lazy and not to uh, not not finished it properly but yeah i bind my pockets with bias binding so that was quite cute it doesn't exactly match but it's just a neat finish so i have to french seam everything i have got serger on my want list serger i call it an overlocker i don't know why i called it a serger then um yeah maybe for christmas we'll see because as I said, my sewing machine's broke, so I need to invest in a new one. I've been I'm in an R in over it for a while. I haven't got the money yet, but yeah, I keep looking. Um, so when I start my job, that's my first purchase. But we're going to New Northumberland in a couple of weeks, and I want to take my sewing machine with me. Now my genome is quite heavy, and also with it only having the one stitch, it's kind of like. It's a good excuse, isn't it, to, to buy something, just a little bit, little bit of a nip, nippy machine, a little one. And when I go to my sewing socials, did I mention I go to sewing socials? I've been to two now. Um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Yeah, it's heavy. Mind you know me, it weighs a ton. Yesterday I was late, so the, the, um, the first time I went, they waited outside with the big trolley thing. We were all met and we all went in together. Of course, I was about half hour late yesterday. So I had to trundle this machine and everything down a flight of stairs and then back up a flight of stairs when, when we left and yeah it's heavy I'm, I'm just looking for an excuse just to buy a machine but um i don't know what to buy i want something lightweight i've looked at a brother i think it's only about 89 pounds but the only problem is it hasn't got the automatic threader well i can't see to thread an ordinary sewing needle let alone anything that's attached to a sewing machine so i need something cheap and cheerful light a few stitches on it um that I can take on holiday in the motorhome and to my sewing socials with a needle threader. So if you've got any suggestions, could you pop in the comments, please? Any um, any suggestions on, on a nice sewing machine, not too expensive? Because I was kind of thinking, do I hold off and buy, um, you know, just buy a sewing machine that I want? But then I thought, no, it'd be nice to have one for the motorhome to take to my sewing socials and then I'll get something else uh, a little bit more heavy heavy duty uh, ish I don't want heavy duty but you know a bit posher with a few more stitches on something a bit more yeah that I can treat myself to so that's my plans anyway so if you've got any ideas for any a little lightweight sewing machine to travel um, please let me know so that's my Avenir jumpsuit what else have I got oh yes so I've got a bit of fabric left so my friend, um, she's on Instagram, I can't remember her name, sorry, Michelle, she, I met her at Swimming, she's really nice, but she gave me a pile of fabrics and a pile of patterns and I'll be forever eternally grateful to her, so nice. And in one of the um, one of the patterns was the, let me have a look, because I can't, I've never heard of this lady, where are we? Oh yeah, Made by Ray is the designer, R-A-E, Made by R-A-E, Ray, don't know, the ruby dress, I will pop a picture in, but yeah, just a simple little 
um, floaty A-line dress. And then I use this um, bit of, I just use my, uh, you know, leftovers really. And then I made it by a strip from the same fabric. This is from Macau. Why do I want to say Macau's? Minerva. That doesn't sound right now. Minerva. Yes, it's from Minerva. I made um, my Margot pants. Gosh, this is really testing my old lady brain. My Margot pants by Tassiti Fabrics I made in this. Um, and I've just got a bit left over, so it's quite nice on the top. So that's that. I can't remember actually if the pattern, I think, yes, the pattern had pockets. But I hadn't got enough material, so I had to, had to ditch the pockets, unfortunately. But that's quite cute. I have worn that, I wore that last weekend. Didn't take me long to make that, but that was a quick make. So that's nice. What else have I got? I wanted to make a pair of shorts. Um, I've looked at the closet core Pietra pants and the shorts. I like those. And there's an on the Billy shorts by Tassiti Fabrics. Anyway, someone told me about um, the Sky shorts by Peppermint Magazine. They're a free pattern. Um, so, yeah, I thought save a bit of money and try them and everyone said they you know there's some good reviews on instagram about them so i made these now i've got a love hate relationship with this fabric you may have remembered that i wanted to make myself a dress for my son's 30th and i ordered this from minerva and i just love the fabric but i made this dress in it and it didn't turn out very well it was just mm, you know when you yeah it just doesn't sit with me now it's fine i'm sure it's fine no one can tell but yeah i'm not just just not keen on this dress anyway it's not the pattern it wasn't the pattern's fault it was me i got in a mess with the bodice fitting and then i don't know i don't know what i did wrong but anyway so i was quite disappointed because I, I do love this this fabric so I thought well, what can I salvage out of it so I really had to do some jiggery pokery to get the pattern because the, the wet the leg on these shorts are really wide so I managed with a bit of difficulty to fit the sky shorts pattern out of what fabric I'd got left but I couldn't get the shorts um, it had got pockets sorry it had got pockets and I couldn't get the um, the pockets out of it so I cut the front and the back and I left the pockets off. thought, yes, this is great. And then I realised that the front pieces have got like, so when the pockets are in it, you can see the pockets, if that makes, if that makes sense. So the front piece and the back piece, the front piece is shorter. It's got like a little piece out of the side. So there, so anyway, when I realised this, I had to add, you see like a little triangle piece onto the sides. So is the, the front and the back fit together. I'm not making sense very much, am I? But anyway, I'll remember that for next time. Well, I probably won't because next time I'd like to put pockets in it. Um, so these are my sky shorts. Um, I love the fact that they're flat fronted. That suits me with my mom Tom. And they're elasticated back. And they're quite cute actually. They're like, when you put them on, they're like a skirt almost. Yeah, you're quite floaty. Now I will hold my hand up. This isn't my best sewing. I did kind of like bodge it together. As I say, I've got a love-hate relationship with this fabric. I, I made these shorts and then I tried them on and I showed them Steve and he was like, the legs, the length in the legs are all over the place. I've got it was all wiggledy piggledy and so then I ended up, yeah, trying to trying to get the length right. I don't know. But anyway, I think I've cracked it now. But it's not my best sewing on on the hems. It's a little bit but and I do love this fabric. I just seem to everything I seem to make out of it doesn't turn out quite right. Like like the pocket situation and putting that on there, but you can't see that. And then the mess I got in with the hem, I had such a job turning them up. I still don't think they're quite level now, but because they're floaty, you can't really tell. Oh, the birth thread hanging there. Oh, he's my husband. Oh. <laughs> you can come back, dear. Two winners in two places. Oh, you treated me to something tonight. <laughs> We've been very naughty. Um, 
probably shouldn't say this on here maybe people won't like it but we've been uh, we've been having a tipple on the horses since ascot um of a weekend we, we we've like well i say we it was me i set myself a limit and then uh, you know i've been doing quite well of course he's, steve's off with a bad back at the moment and he's he's bored so he's sat watching telly so he's got into this racing so last weekend he was watching all all my winners my granddad used to race and i used to have a horse actually so um, yeah i do love horses so and we've we live in utoxeter and we've got which talks to race course so i've got quite an affinity with horse racing not that i know much about horse racing but um yeah so he's been last weekend he was watching and he was like who have you got in this race and i only put 50p each way and and i say i've set myself a limit i think i set myself a limit of 15 pound which snuck up a little bit last weekend to about 19 and then yesterday i put 15 pound on and i lost the lot so yeah i've got a few horses today but steve's <laughs> steve's got into it and he's been doing better than me like yeah typical <laughs> i just can't seem to win anything but never mind i was doing quite well up till yesterday we'll see today i think i've had three three in it today and oh i did have one winner today i've won six pounds something and i must have put a pound on so that's not bad is it if i can just get my money back today i'll be happy don't like to lose money <laughs> not that i'm tight but you know i just don't like to lose money don't like to waste money either but yeah anyway that's another story so what else last weekend i had a mammoth cutting out session saturday so i broke my rule of monogamous sewing i went all out i cut out the eva dress by Tsuti fabrics i cut out another pair of margot pants by Tsuti fabrics i cut out three um i went oh i can't remember what it's called i didn't write that down actually it's tammy handmade and it's like a, a vest slip top with them um, that's my sewing social group yeah i'm loving this group um yeah the vest top anyway but tammy handmade it's not the nadia is it that's the t-shirt so i want to say alina anyway i cut out three of those what else oh, a donny shirt friday pattern company i put that out and was there anything else no that was it it's very naughty of me putting all those things out so I started sewing the Eva dress together and then yesterday when I went to my sewing social I took the whole lot with me because I hadn't got time to sort it all out and I managed to, well I part finished my Eva dress then I drove to my mum and dad's who live in Cheslin Hay and I finished it there so I was at my mum and dad's still about 7 o'clock last night finishing finishing this dress and then um, I'll pop some pictures in, I got my mum to try it on bless her <laughs> so I'll put some pictures in of my mum um, trying it on because I want to make my mum a dress um, but yeah she's quite small up top so it did it did hang off a little bit top but it fit her everywhere else she won't wear long dresses bless her she likes like just past her knee she won't wear long so the eva dress is it's a little bit longer um and she was like oh yes this, is, this isn't bad so if i make her one hopefully she'll wear it so this is my eva dress now what can i say about this what did i do i did a size 14 again they suggest using tearaway violin around here. I I haven't got any and don't even know what it is, so I ditched that. And again, I did my usual go-to bias. I met handmade my bias tape. Handmade, hand cut, made my own bias tape, whatever it is. I think they do tell you to do, yes, they do tell you to do that anyway. And then they tell you to sew it on top of this tearaway stuff. And yeah, no, I didn't bother with that. So anyway, that's, the top the sleeves are again bias binded hem cat hairs on it um and then it's kind of like the skirts in like how can i say it? so it's like four pieces you've got two fronts two backs and then so your skirts in eight pieces yeah and it's what you think is your bottom of this these four pieces front and back is actually upside down so i couldn't get mine to fit luckily there was another girl there who um who actually gifted me this pattern bless her what's her name ruth seam stressed ruth seam stressed ruth on instagram as in stressed stressed out seam stressed ruth so she gifted me this pattern bless her they're such a lovely bunch of ladies 
Um, so yeah, she was there. She'd made this pattern. I'm like, why, why can't I get the bottom of this skirt to fit? So um, yeah, she said you've got it upside down. So it's kind of like, so when you've got it on, it's kind of like a tulip shape. You'll see, well, you can't see on the pictures actually. I can see when I look down, I'm thinking this looks really weird. But when, you, when you've got it on, it's, it, you know, when you're looking like in the mirror or on a picture, it, yeah, it's, you can't really tell this, how it, like this tulip effect. Anyway, babbling. It's got pockets again. I did put the pockets in. What tape did I use? Oh, I just used, um, I just edged my pockets in the same fabric this time. I just did a little bit of bias tape. I actually wore this this morning to go swimming because it was a bit nippy this morning. So I stuck this on, but when I got back, oh, roasting, there's no air. And then I've noticed since I was going to show you, look at that. Can you see? Oh, French seamed. <laughs> oh, look. Patrick off the sewing bee would be horrified, wouldn't he? I've got all wispy ends. I've got to sort those out. My French seams. It's only on the one sleeve. Nowhere else. So I've got to sort that out. Talking to the sewing bee, I didn't tell you, did I? I applied. I applied. And I got to the first stage. I got a telephone interview. I was so shocked. And then I haven't got any further. I've not heard a thing. So I won't be in the sewing bee for 2024. Never mind. I don't know whether I'm disappointed or not. Um, yeah, so that's Eva. I will make that again because it's really nice. Um, yeah, I like that. What else have I got to show you? That's it on my sewing, um, sewing makes this week. I am making the Donny shirt that I cut out last week. Um, so I'm halfway through making that and I'm being really diligent i'm pressing everything where they tell me to press which is a pain in the bum because i have to come upstairs and use the iron and go back downstairs again so i have to sew in my kitchen uh yeah but i'm being i'm being really good and i'm doing that and i'm just looking at dark clouds coming over so i'm thinking is it gonna rain is that why it's so muggy we had a terrible thunderstorm here last night i've got all my washing out so i'm making the donny shirt I want to, I've got a few ideas for July for this Hindu. I've got Hindu on August the 12th and it's the wedding on September the 9th. So I want to make two dresses for that. So I'm going to take my sewing machine away to Northumberland. Is that the dog or is that Steve? Listening to me, I think it's the dog, I think it's Woody. Um, so yeah. I'm taking my sewing machine away with me. So purchases, fabric purchases, I've had to had to be really good. I've had to really rein it in because, uh, yeah, being a student, I don't know what's happened this year, but me and Stace have really struggled this year. I don't know whether it's the cost of living's gone up or maybe we've just used whatever reserves we had over the last three years and they, they've gone. But yeah, she and I have really struggled. My daughter is doing nursing as well in Liverpool. So yeah, anyway, won't bore you with all that, but um, yeah, fabric purchasing has had to slow down. I've had to be really good. But I did get my Little Miss so-and-so um, box. And I've only opened it today. This was June's box, was it? Yeah, June's box. I've only opened it today. I've sat on it because I haven't been able to order any fabric and I didn't want to open it because once it's opened, then that's it. Um, but, said I haven't ordered any fabric. Don't tell Steve. Sherwood Fabrics had a 50% off sale. I think it might still be on and I'm afraid. Yeah, I was a little bit naughty. Um, I thought, well, you can miss this 50% off. So of course I was putting these things in my basket and then I went to the checkout and well, why, hasn't, why hasn't it took 50% off? Oh, you have to spend over 150. Yikes. So I scrapped that idea. Anyway, next day went back on again. Okay, 150, 50% off that. And then I realised, so I did it again. Still the voucher hadn't worked. I thought, what's wrong with this? Then I realised that to be the sale items, didn't it? So I looked and they're not, all the all the fabric that's in the sale wasn't actually discounted. Oh, I don't know anyway. But I ended up ordering from Shield Fabrics. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that to come. So I've ordered some fabric. I can't actually remember what I've ordered. How bad am I? I couldn't remember what this box was. 
um, so yeah, I've ordered for this dress for the hen do and for the wedding. So I'm quite excited for that to come. So I hope it comes this week before we go. So this is my little Miss So-and-So box. And I went for the jersey fabric. Again, I said I couldn't remember what I'd ordered. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Not sure how much you get. I don't know if it's two metres or three. But look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? The jersey. Really like that. The only problem is I don't like the pattern. And I know I didn't like the pattern before I ordered it. Um, so you've got a choice. I think the woven pattern was a fitted dress, which in my figure just lately might. No. So I didn't go for that. And then it was a fibre mood dress. Let me have a look. What was it? The Alina dress. Um, so I'll have to put a picture in. But yeah, it's got a cut out at the back. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's quite nice. Then I realised I've already got the fibre mood magazine with it in. And then I watched Alex George, Alex, is it Alex Judge Sews? Judge, Alex Judge Sews, yeah. And she had made the same dress and she didn't like it and neither did I. So I don't think I'll be making that. But it's a shame really. But yeah, so I've got the Alina pattern twice now. Actually, I could take that for the swaps table. We have a swaps table at the um, Sewing Social. I think that pattern will be going there. It's okay. The dress is nice. I love Fibre Mood. Love there. I've only made a couple. What have I made? Fibre Mood. I made the Deborah dress and the Babette trousers. Both of them are lovely. And I've, I've got a list of my longer Fibre Mood um, things I want to make. But it's the tracing out I don't like. But yeah, I really, um, it's not the dress. I just don't think it's, it would suit me. So, yeah, scratch that. So... This might be that wrap dress, kilo wrap dress. Although I've already got the other fabric to make a kilo wrap dress. I think I've got two jersey fabrics to make that, so we'll see. But I'm pleased with that, so that's lovely. Lovely summery fabric. And I've got a uh, white cotton and a cute wrist pin cushion. I've always seen people wearing these. I'm a bit scared actually to wear it because I'm so clumsy. I'll just be stabbing myself or I won't have it on. I'll get into the habit of using it and then I'll be just <laughs> when I haven't got it on. Yeah, so I don't know whether that's really a good idea for me because I'm a bit clumsy. Anyway, um, patterns I have had. What have I had? I've got the Davenport dress um, on order, which was gifted by the lovely Sally of Staffordshire So. Staffordshire sewist so she gifted me that the Davenport dress what else have I got I think I've got another one but I can't remember I want the it's a blouse by Caper Theory oh oh debt or something oh debt blouse anyway that's on that's on my wants list and a lovely lady gifted me this Tilly and the Buttons Mabel this is my favourite Tilly and the Buttons pattern. And I don't know why I'm showing it to you because everybody, unless you've been living under a rock, everybody knows the Mabel. Um, I've wanted to make this, so I'm really pleased. So, yeah, lovely lady off Facebook gifted me this. We did a pattern swap. Um, what did we swap now? I can't remember, but we did a pattern swap. And then I've mentioned that I wanted this and she messaged me the other night and said, do you still want the Mabel? She decided she didn't want to make it. And um, yeah, she just sent it me. Bless her, I just paid £3 postage and she sent it. That was really sweet of her. So yeah, finally, finally got the Mabel because I've had my eye on this for ages. So I want to make that for the summer. So that's my patterns and my fabric. Not very exciting. Not, well, it is exciting, but it's not a lot, is it? Um, you may see behind me, I've still got my Wildwood wrap dress. <laughs> I might not worn it. One, because I've not had much time off to wear it and two it's been too hot and three it's itchy i don't like it's actual linen and i found out that linen is itchy who knew so i've been told to soak it in white wine vinegar and that'll soften it but i don't know i was going to ask anyone anyone got any ideas what i can do with it to soften it obviously soak it in comfort i need to try that but yeah, it's not been off there. I'm gonna have to move it because it'll be gathering dust. I need to sew a button on and I need to just quite, just hand stitch the belt a little bit. So I need to do that and then try and soften it because 
I do love that pattern and I'm just disappointed that the linen is itchy. It's not too bad, I'll get away with it, but I have a real, I have a real itch problem, I'm the same with wool. So I'll just quickly show you my hand sewing. At night, I like to sit and hand sew. I think I've shown you this before, actually, where I was up to with this. So I sit and hand sew. Um, and I've made a gift for the nurse that I'm out with at the moment, my supervisor. She's lovely and she's had to put up with me and my bell habits for seven weeks now. She's got another week left. I won't go into my bell habits. Um, yeah, it's another story. But she's had to put up with me and I said to her, it's like, must be like taking a toddler around. I've also been, my fibro's kicked in this week and I've been, well, last two weeks actually, and I've been shattered and I've nearly fell asleep in her car. So yeah, I'm the student that falls asleep. But you know, when she's driving and I'm just like, oh, so tired and it's hot. God, it's been hot. So yeah, I said to her, it's like taking a toddler out. I'm either tired, thirsty, I want to wear, I want to poo. <laughs> and it's just, I, I bet I've been a nightmare. So anyway, I've made a, a little something. So I've made her this. Her name's Emma. I can show you because she won't be watching me. So that's meant to be her because she likes a gym and she likes flowers. She also likes cats and chocolate, but I don't know how to incorporate that into this. And then I English paper piece the back. And I lost this yesterday. I took this to, with to me uh, with me to the sewing social to um to sew just because I'd I'd hand made the English paper piece in. I'd done all that. And I've hand embroidered and appliqued that. Um, so I just wanted to stitch it all together on my machine and then I couldn't find this, the ribbon. So I texted Steve, I said, have I dropped that piece of ribbon anywhere? Is it on the floor? Have I left it on the settee? And he couldn't find it. Anyway, when we were packing up at the end of the day. I found it, I'd put it on the swaps table, as if anyone wanted that. So yeah, I've stitched it together. So I'm going to fill it with rice and she loves the smell of lavender. Whenever we go, we like to, because I'm on community, if we go and there's lavender in the garden, she's always smelling it. So I'm going to do a rice lavender pillow for a heart hanging heart and then i might get her a book i am reading at the moment gillian McAllister. let me have a look wrong place wrong time this was recommended i was watching tamlin from the northern soul sisters i was watching her vlog the other week and she said she was reading this and as i finished all my assignments and everything i can actually read again oh, it's amazing i've just read something i can't remember where it is it was good but i can't remember it's gone um, I'll try and share with you any books um, that I read because I do like reading. So I downloaded um, Gillian McAllister, Wrong Place, Wrong Time, and it's really good. It's about a lady who's, um, she witnesses her son uh, murder someone. I'll tell you this because it's right at the beginning. That's as far as I've got anyway, so I can't tell you anymore. Um, and then she wakes up, so he gets arrested. She sees him murder this man. Um, you know, a lovely, sweet boy and she can't believe that he's done it so he gets arrested and then she wakes up next morning and it's the same day again and then she, i think from what i gather because i haven't got any further than that she goes back a day every day and it must be some like she's either going to try and find out why he murdered this boy and try and stop him or i don't know i think it was a man he murdered anyway it's good so i'd like to buy emma the book and perhaps a little gin or something a little tipple or some chocolate so that's a gift for putting up with me uh, the last seven weeks and if you ever do watch this Emma thank you very much <laughs> you've made it bearable um yeah so I thought I'd show you this as well because this is what I sit making at night I sit hand stitching I, I think I have shown you maybe the start of this this is by a quilt by Natalie Bird and it's called A Letter to My Daughter. So there's no prizes guessing for who this is for. Um, no prizes for guessing. So you make a block. So this is from a magazine called Homespun Magazine. And because I subscribe to readily, I can get this free. So you can get back issues and everything free. So I've downloaded this. Um, yeah, I think it was last year she did this one. But how sweet is this? So I've hand stitched this completely. All the squares and everything all hand stitched together. I did start, when I very first started it, I did start hand uh, machine sewing it. So I was just doing the applique and everything by hand. But then I found I wasn't getting very far with it because um, it's sitting down in the kitchen and, you know, machine stitching. And yeah, so I decided to hand sew it all. 
So you have the B. So it's a, it's like captions for your daughter. It's just really sweet. Be humble, be kind. What does that one say? Make time for a hobby. That's a laugh. Stace doesn't have any hobbies, but never mind. And then there's little ones like that. Look, what's that say? Always in my heart. And there's little captions. Be brave, little birdie. So cute. Smell the flowers. What's that one? Take the road less travel. It's back to front for me. Um, oh, just be yourself. That one's cute, isn't it? I love that. She loves owls. Smile. It's lovely, isn't it? I just really love that. So that's how far I've got with that. Woohoo! And this is my next little block. So you do a block at a time, a block at a time, and stitch it, stick it together. There's two blocks on um, each magazine so I'm on the third edition or whatever you want to call it that's that one little bees hold the light up to others <laughs> lovely isn't it that so I'm enjoying making that at night um, I like my hand sewing so I think that's it. I think that's what I've got to say. Oh, what have I covered? I'm just looking at my notes. Mention my holiday sewing. I want to take my sewing machine. Any ideas for a sewing machine, please? A lightweight one that's got a threader. Um, oh, yes. While I was at my sewing social yesterday, my sewing social, Sally, Sally um, from Staffordshire Sewist, she runs this sewing social. And there were there were lots of lovely ladies there, but there were two ladies who I've not met before, and I want to give them a shout out for their YouTube channels. Um, the one lady I was following already, um, she's from Manchester, and she's she holds she, I think she's got her first sewing social next month. Um, so her name's Nadia, from, and it, her YouTube channel is Stitch and Style by Nadia. So that was nice. So I met her. It was strange really because I've been watching her. Um, Adele from Sofa Serenity, she was there the, the week before, she didn't come this week, she was busy, but um, yeah, so she was there, so that's another shout out for her YouTube channel. And then I also met yesterday Sam, a lovely lady called Sam, and she gave me some tips and hints for my YouTube channel. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to revamp it a little bit now. Uh, it'll still be the same garbled content, I'm afraid. <laughs> but um, yeah, so she's Sequin Girly Creates on YouTube. Sequin Girly, and the, it's Girly spelled G-I-R-L-I-E. Sequin Girly Creates, and her name's Sam. And I've watched her first, you, well, I've watched one of her YouTube uh, videos, my first watch this morning while I was doing a bit of sewing before I went to William. So yeah, it's good. So give those three ladies a shout out on their youtube channels and i think that's it now i've been on for 38 minutes so it seems longer than that actually but um yeah so if you still you've stuck it out thank you very much thank you for staying with me i'm going to go and see if any of my horses have won i'm going to pop the kettle on and it's definitely gone very dark so i'm going to get my washing in um yeah if you'd like to subscribe i would really appreciate it um and I say I'm quite nervous doing this this channel, but I want to play. I want to share things with you, and I, uh, it's nice. I'm enjoying like meeting different people in the in the sewing community. And um, social media is the way to go, isn't it? Really. So yeah, if you could subscribe, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. And and any likes or comments, any comments about how I can soften that, um, or on my sewing machine, or any other comments, um, nice ones, please. <laughs> um, be lovely. So have a nice rest of the weekend and have a good week and hopefully I'll see you next weekend before we go away. I might have my Sherwood Fabrics parcel to share with you and my Donny shirt should be finished hopefully. I'm going to get on that now. So lovely. Thank you. Bye.